The iPhone 13 Pro Max is actually an amazing device and uh, some people can't take it and it's leaving some Android users upset out there. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Technically T hitting y'all with another video today, man. Hope all y'all are doing well out there. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So the iPhone 13 Pro Max has been out, you know, a little over a week now with some change. People are starting to pull out full reviews. People already start to talk about this device, especially when it comes to social media. And I'm here to just talk about the accolades that the iPhone 13 Pro Max has already received. Now, when I'm talking about accolades, I'm talking about this. DisplayMate has already rated the best smartphone display on the market. We got me personally, and I'm nobody to even say this, but I said that it is the best battery on a device that has 120 hertz. We'll get into that a little bit later. And I also said, and other people have also said the same thing, that this is the best implementation of a macro lens that we have seen so far. Now, I'm not saying that everybody is hating. I'm not saying that everybody is upset with this device, especially when it comes to YouTube. When you look at the creator market and everybody out there that's talking about the phone, excellent, excellent things to say about it. But when you're on social media like myself, like Twitter, and make sure you follow me on Twitter, man, because I'm, 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 on, I'm on Twitter all day. But when you're on something like that and you just start putting your opinions out there about a device, that's when all of the true people really come out and really get in their feelings. Now, just like I said, hitting on some of these accolades. First, let's go ahead and start off with DisplayMate. Now, I didn't say this. This is what DisplayMate said. I, 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 don't, I, I, don't, I don't make the rules, you, all right? you know what I'm saying? So if DisplayMate comes out here and says the iPhone 13 Pro Max has the best smartphone display, I mean, what can we go off of? I mean, it is what it is. Now, am I saying that I agree? Uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit subjective. I always say Samsung displays are a little bit better, but when you're talking about just pure uh, color accuracy, because that's what it's all about. I don't care how bright, how vibrant your colors are. You have to have accurate colors. In my opinion, iPhone has always had the most color accurate display. It always maybe not render the best, but I can appreciate and I can see how it can be rated as the best smartphone display. Now you take that, go off the Twitter, then you got people dissecting everything that's going on. Well, display may isn't credible. It doesn't even have true quad HD. Like, why can't we just appreciate that Apple has a decent device? Why can't we all just say, you know what? That's not my cup of tea, but Apple did a great job. You know, thank you. Thank you, Apple. You actually did pretty good for once. There's always people who have to break down every single thing that Apple does. Take it to the battery life. Like I said, I had tweeted that there is no device and I still stand by this. I don't care what you say or how you say Apple was implementing 120 hertz about a bug. And look, when I use my apps that I use on my phone, I can tell a big difference and I can tell that it's using. I don't know if it's a full 120 hertz, but actually who knows if everything is 120 hertz on any other Android devices out there that runs 120. So the apps that I use, I can feel it. And it feels good and it feels smooth and it is different from when I pick up my iPhone 13 that doesn't have the promotion. So I put that on Twitter. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is the best device that implements 120 hertz because nobody can touch the battery, period. I don't care what phone it is. S21 Ultra is okay. Yeah, that has good battery life. 13 Pro Max battery champ. And I also said that as well. And boy, did that open up the floodgates. Everybody just talking about, well, Apple has a bug. It doesn't implement 120 hertz. All the apps are optimized. Like you're throwing every single excuse out there in the book just not to say, you know what? Apple, they, they, they did their thing this year with battery. Like, why can't we just admit when Apple does a great thing? Everybody always wants to go straight to the defensive side and just prove everybody wrong and prove the person who stated something about the iPhone wrong and in their opinion, that doesn't equate. Why can't everybody just have an opinion about a device? Now, I know you're probably looking at it like T, why can't you just respect their opinion? But it doesn't reciprocate the same way. It's never this way when it comes to Samsung devices, but every time Apple does something that's great, regardless if they invented it or if they're late, and half of the time, let's just be real, they are late. It's always a big issue and nobody can give their, a, no, nobody can give Apple their props when it comes to it. Last but not least, we have to talk about the macro. Now, we know macro lenses, macro photography on smartphones is not a new thing. It's been out for a while. I just told you Apple always late to the game, but sometimes, not all the time, sometimes when they are late to the game, they make the best implementation of it. And right now, I feel like there isn't really a other... Now, I'm not, I'm not going to say that because I know you're going to slam me in the conversations if you're not already doing it. But this is probably, I feel like, one of the best macro 
photography lenses out there. Now I know it kind of has a funky thing where it likes to switch to focal length and all of that. Apple already said it's going to come out and make an update, but when have you heard of people speaking of macro photography until the 13 Pro Max came out? You don't really hear a lot of people buzzing about it. Yes, you may hear some people talk about it here and there. Yes, you may have some people who do more in-depth camera reviews who may talk about macro photography, but once again, when have you heard people actually speaking about macro or even taking any type of macro shots until the iPhone 13 Pro Max came to town? Now, like I said, man, this isn't everybody out there that's hating on this device. I just wanted to make this video to kind of get it off my chest, get it off my mind, because we can never just sit back and give a phone its respect when it does something great. We know Apple is most of the time late to the game. People are saying, why would I? And I made a tweet last night saying that, who has the iPhone 13 Pro Max in running a phone of the year? And then you have all those other people coming out to play. Here we go. Oh, why would you give a phone of the year the same phone that's been looking the same for the past four? Look, put all of that aside. We know that Apple doesn't change their design. We know that they're slow to the game to come out with the technology. We understand those things. But put all that to the side and just respect a device for what it is. Why can't people just say, you know what, Apple? You did a damn good job this time with the iPhone 13 series. We can't do it. I feel like, and it's mostly Samsung owners. They cannot do it because you have to continue. You have to just continue and continue and continuously try to prove your point to say any phone is better out there than the iPhone. Like the iPhone just doesn't do anything well to some people. You see what I'm saying? So I just wanted to see this point of view. I'm not sure if you feel the same way. Let me know in the comment section down below, but it's just a little tiring to even just make a general tweet on Twitter that's giving anything Apple any type of praise and people just automatically come to the defense and hit you with all this scientific notif scientific stuff about the 120 hertz, about the macro lens. Oh, the LG V3080 was doing that eight years ago. And I'm not talking about that device. Can we just appreciate how good and how easy the macro lens on the iPhone 13 Pro Max is? Can we appreciate just that they always have had a solid display? And can we appreciate that this is the battery champ? I'm not debating this with anybody. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is the battery champ. So if you want to disagree, you can hit that like button. If you really disagree, make sure you hit it twice. But I'm not, um, yeah, we're not going to even argue that. The 13 Pro Max is the uh, is the battery champ, you know, hands down. But let me know what you think down below, man. I don't, I don't, I'm not coming off as an Apple sheep. I know a lot of people may think that, but I just have to call a spade a spade and just see let you know what I'm seeing out there in the universe when it comes to this device and any of the iPhone 13 series and why we just can't say, you know what, Apple did a good job with that device and uh, it may not be better than my Samsung, but Apple did a good job. You can't do it. It's just you're allergic to doing that, man. But you already know, technically T, do all the YouTube things, man. Hit that like, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let's get the comment section going. You know I'm be down there heavy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn that bell on because we got plenty of videos. And you know, we might ruffle some feathers along the way, man. So if you like that type of content, man, make sure you hit that sub button. But until next time, everyone be safe. Catch you on the next one. Later.